Today is Tayo I know here again and guys check out what is behind me. This is a prefab house, almost like a container house. You guys have been seeing a lot of all those tiny houses. Uh, most of them are usually not in Nigeria. So today I was able to find this container house and now we're going to be taking a tour of it. This is like one of the first of its kind in Lagos. I've seen some other people doing it but it's not really something that is really popular and really common. The tiny house movement is an architectural and social movement that advocates living simply in small homes. Tiny houses are usually prefabricated homes made with shipping containers. They provide an alternative to the usual brick and mortar homes and are most times cheaper and faster to set up. Lagos being the most popular city in Africa currently has a need for innovation in the real estate sector and a tiny prefab house that is very affordable for the general public might just be the solution. Guys, just check it out. This is the outdoor area currently and I'm sure you guys would be interested to see what is inside this unit. This is, you know those containers they used to pack cars and all of that. So they take it down and they install a lot of things that look like you're actually living in a house. So today we're going to meet now with the architect. Come along. Come along. Yeah, what's up man? What's good? How's it doing man? Good knock, to meet knock. you. Knock, <laughs> knock. Good to meet you. Come so on guys, in. this is Coin Sade. He has an architectural firm and they are the makers of unit called Homely. Yeah, it's called Homely. 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 Okay. So please come in. <laughs> Take you on a Ooh, tour of our oh, very, is... very tiny apartment. Oh, this is dope. This please is come dope. On in. dope. So this is the living room. Uh, pretty basic. Let me start. Um, with more than enough space to sit about three or four people. Mm. To host a small party. Okay, let's, let's, let's sit down. I, I like the, like it's, it's a lot of stuff in a small space. And how are you able to like manage to do all of this? This is, oh, this is nice. I think part of the advantages that I have okay. as an architect is that I have a very deep understanding of space. Oh, okay, um, cool. So by understanding space, we're able to maximize the simple areas that a container provides. The 2.4 meters by 12 meters, we're broken down into a living room space, which is where we are, a Ooh, kitchen nice. space, this and then nice. the bedroom space further in. Guys, I'm already chilling. <laughs> I'm chilling in this space already. So, this on this side, I think this is basically the living room space yes. with the really nice TV here. So, how are you able to come up with like like the space in between this space and this space? Now, it looks from outside it looks small, but inside it looks spacious. I mean, we're able to use some tricks, and one of the major tricks that we use is allowing a lot of light to come into the space. Oh, so that's why so with bigger. the huge windows that are here, for example, yeah. we're able to you know throw in a lot of light and yeah. then. Being very specific about the dimensions of the furniture pieces that we choose, the TV stand and the furniture, providing enough access for people to walk up and down without really interfering with the space. Cool, yeah. that's really nice. That's really nice. Then what about this part of this place? I'm guessing these are like, I don't know, maybe how many fit windows. So this, 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 first of all, the window, once again, one of the tricks that we use, provide as much light as, as possible. So it makes it look So it makes it look a lot bigger than it is as well. And then one of the tricks we also used in this space was we provided the sitting ledge so that oh, the okay. kitchen actually looks a lot bigger. We're providing oh, enough okay. space to interact with multiple people. Oh, you that's know, true. From, from this side of the of the unit, you can see almost the entire apartment as well. That's and it allows for functionality. Guys, we're in the kitchen currently. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like we're in like a kitchen lounge. So the kitchen has a lounge and then this is the kitchen area. Yeah. Then what about this kitchen? Tell us more about this whole kitchen. Okay, okay. so it's a basic kitchen. This is a glass top, okay. um, tempered glass top as well. So it's also temperature proof. But the idea is, you know, this is our cutting area for worktops. Um, we haven't installed it yet, but the fridge is supposed to go into a small cabinet that's just here. Oh, okay. And then we have a simple two burner cooker which is because you don't really need more for an apartment than that and then an extractor hood oh it even comes with an extractor exactly that uh -huh. is automated wow. and works you know as, as the unit <laughs> once you put unit. it out it just, it just once you put it out it starts working oh nice um, we also have you know storage for adequate storage we have storage for plate racks and everything so the idea is to just conceal a lot of the things that otherwise would be outside, outside. And that's what we did here storage 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 then the lights on the on the ceiling is this pop yes so this is a pop ceiling which is the same as any regular building but we decided to hide our light fittings 
just to reduce you know the amount of things that you see in such a clean small space that way your eye is not distracted by yeah, yeah, yeah. multiple spotlights on the ceiling and things like that so instead what you're looking at is the building itself the space that you have the unit itself that's really cool then i'm guessing this is like extra storage area yes so we have more storage here um, i'll just open this side unit. oh you just tap it and it opens just tap tap and then you can roll it oh you can even roll and it then you roll it back <laughs> are you serious to reveal you know as much storage as possible wow. this is for toiletries linen anything that is extra extra clothes whatever it is and then there's still the window at the back that still allows lights into into the game. space as well so that was that was the plan interesting and what is i see light coming from this place it looks like this is like one place that you go and you disappear <laughs> behind like this time machine <laughs> So oh, this is the bathroom. Uh, yeah, I was wondering where the bathroom was. Very simple space, you know, there's Ooh. a shower, uh, toilet, sink. And it's high enough for me to, guys, check out this bathroom. <laughs> have shower, water pour in my body. And, you know, when I come here, I just come and do my business. And there's also like a big window here. I think it's the same thing, the same, same thing as well. Having big light coming. And then the air, this is, would you call this an air extractor, too? Yes, so that's an extractor fan. Okay, well, that's that's take smell out of the, out of the room. And then there's also, like storage. storage on this side too. Oh, that's cool. So the bedroom is here. All you do oh, is just behind this glass. Behind the glass. Oh, nice. You just slide the glass aside. Wow. And <laughs> You walk right into what I is is it. Even there's even a, a study area here. Exactly. Oh, this is really cool. This so is really the cool. The idea is just you know provide enough adequate usage for the space. Storage, sitting. You have the bed. If you have a study session that you need to do, or you have some work that you need to get done, you do that in the So do you guys have stuff like this for YouTubers that they can just take and just go and hide in one place? And I'm start very, very happy to provide them for YouTubers. <laughs> All they need to do is just ask. <laughs> Once they ask. We make it available, but that's what we do in general. We make these units available to people who who need them um, and who people who want to live off grid or smaller accommodations or want to just tighten, you know, their expenses and just live smaller, closer, and minimalist. Interesting. So well. I'm I'm sure there's a question on a lot of people's minds. Like, yes. To get something like this, how much? How much? Basically, averagely, I, I know I'm sure you probably built to different people's specifications. Yes, but to get something like this, how much would it be? Okay, so for this one bedroom unit that we're taking on a tour of, yeah. um, including the kitchen, the air conditioning systems, the walls, and we're starting at seven million. Oh, and then we go up depending on the specifications that people want, obviously, the type of fittings that you want in your place as well. But starting at seven million now hmm. is, is what we provide. that seems very affordable. We I hope believe. the market thinks so. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that seems very affordable because I know a lot of people are looking for. I've been to, I show a lot of houses on my channel. Yes. And a lot of those houses are like, people see 300 million, 1 million dollars, 2 million dollars. So, me showing something like this, I feel this is like affordable living for a lot of people. Yes. If they can probably maybe get, they rent the land space exactly. and they have something like this and they put it on the ground. Exactly. Yeah, so we are on the outskirts, I'll be outdoor of this property yes how many plots is this like basically this this kind of um, structure like how many what space does it need land space area well so this actually is sitting on roughly about 30 square meters of oh, okay. land however this structure in itself or okay. this entire land is about one plot of land okay and we can put as many as 10 units because we can also stack on top of each other Oh, so what you're saying is you can stack 10 of these? No, so I can arrange within this compound ten. and then stack about 10 units to wow. make creating two floors wow, um, and wow, spread it wow, around this wow, unit. Wow. And that's the beauty of what we do. So if somebody else buys within this plot, you can just put them on top of us, provide an access staircase, um, and then they can move. Interesting. So what about this one? I've been seeing this one. It seems he's just like, you know the way Tony Stark is that they have like one land space <laughs> lab and they're just making stuff. He's just coming here to just make different things and this is like his own exactly. lab. So we have this one, this is the one bedroom unit. What's this one meant to be? Because it well, seems so like this, this one is still in construction. Yes, it's still in construction, but this is eventually supposed to be an outhouse. Okay. Um, essentially just like a relaxation place if you have guests okay. and you don't want your guests staying within the house. Okay. You can create a guest bedroom or a guest accommodation. Okay. Um, and that's ex essentially what this is. So guys, let's climb up. Let's see what's up here. Okay, so we're going to need to. You know, we're going to need to dock. Health and safety. <laughs> yeah. 
this is an incomplete structure for now, but the framework is up. But this is supposed to be an outdoor deck where, you know, you can have guests and relax. Just, you know, be, be able to share a nice drink or, you know, yeah. just enjoy the outdoors yeah. within Lagos. Enjoy the good breeze and lucky, yeah. the good views and things like that. So that's also one of the products we're, we're providing to people where you can sort of just buy this as a modular unit, put it at your backyard if you already have some land. Rather than building a pool house, you can buy this, put this at the back. And so that's the idea, modularity and making building very, very easy. Oh, really, really nice. Really nice. Um, and then you have extra space. And so we I'm have guessing, more than enough space. I'm guessing this space now, somebody can actually have a pool here. Exactly. So what, what about the designer? Why did you come up with Because when I entered here, this space looks different from a normal building structure. Why did you come up with the whole bamboo designs? Um, well, so that's one of the things that we are trying to do, essentially. We're trying to make people know that there are multiple materials you can use in building. Okay. And we're trying to drive the cost down. Okay. Um, that's the problem that we're trying to solve. So using things like bamboo, which are beautiful. Yeah, they're actually they beautiful. They provide the aesthetics, but they're not as expensive. And they also require very little to no maintenance. And you can always change them over time, depending on the work that you do. So that's, that's the reason behind the choice, choice for the bamboo. Yes. That's really cool. Yeah, I think uh, that ends the tour for today. Thanks a lot for taking us Thank you very much. Beautiful property. Thank you very um, much. I'm going to link his company down below. If you guys like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Thank you.